great joy when invited uh, Sri John Barla to come and be part of the program that we're going to have on 12th. This program is uh, very holistic in nature. It is uh, in fact open for all and we are giving out an invitation card which uh, they need to scan and they need to register. They need to work on that quickly. So by February 2nd, they have to do that. Yes, we have a card and we are putting up on the WhatsApp. Yeah, we only uh, wish to invite 500 people because of the venue. The National Christian Council has got uh, 17 wings and uh, we are well established all over India with uh, presidents and um, you know the officials in every state in India. We also have um, uh, presidents in various uh, countries. So it is in fact an international uh, council and we are effectively working for minorities uh, to uplift the minorities. Just uh, last month, that is on December 20, uh, we had the privilege to go to Delhi. Uh, we were invited by Sri John Barla, who is the uh, Minority Minister for Minority Affairs. Uh, he had invited us for a Christmas program. And we had a very good Christmas program, as you can see, uh, some of the slides that we are showing. And we also had a discussion regarding minorities. We presented uh, some issues and need. Uh, he was very kind. He was very open to us, and he accepted uh, those uh, writings. And it was there that we decided to invite him to Nagaland to come and participate in the uh, Holistic Peace and Progress program which we are planning to have at Night Blue Resort on uh, February 12th. And also we have a workshop on 13th and 14th. So it's going to be a very significant workshop. And I believe it is going to uh, bring about uh, significant you know, peace and progress in India through this uh, program. So I will tell you a little bit about this uh, uh, later on as we go along this uh, press conference. Uh, but before we go along, I would request uh, Dr. Wong Pong to please tell us something about the National Christian Council. National Christian Council exists to serve the country by promoting peace and communal harmony. Its primary focus is to develop leaders to serve the society at large with honest dedication and a sincere commitment. It is a human rights network program to uh, communal harmony and understanding between the communities and to address the issues of various sections of society and in, a, in a, a particular the issues of the minorities with a special focus on Christians. National Christian Council collaborates with all like-minded organizations that are serving various communities and deal with the issues of Dalits, tribal women, OPCS, differently, apple persons and other needy segments of the society. It partners with like-minded individuals and organizations for rendering holistic service to the needy in empowering them economically, socially, and spiritually. NCC leadership is passionate about human rights and Christian rights and has represented the Christian minorities. Dalits, tribals, and women's issues in the United Kingdom Parliament in parliament hearings and individually with several MPS and in the United States Senate several times in senatorial hearings and in the European Union represented the human rights and Christian rights issues to United Nations in New York, Geneva, Geneva and other countries in the UN conferences. National Christian Council has also presented human rights and Christian rights 
issue to government of India as well. So this is the uh, work all the the NCC do do's uh, towards this national uh, nation building. The National Christian Council is uh, voicing out, okay, for the human rights and for the Christian right. Uh, it is in fact a ministry that is passionate about human rights and Christian right. And right now we are working also with the government and uh, with great joy we had invited uh, Sri John Barla to come and be part of the uh, program that we're going to have on 12th. And he has uh, given us his consent uh, in writing that he will be coming for this program. Now this program is uh, very holistic in nature and I believe uh, this is going to bring you know, peace and progress and development in uh, India in a very, very significant way. Now, this uh, program has uh, various courses and these courses are very significant in regards to peace, uh, progress and development in uh, India. So this program has uh, courses on uh, community health, community development, it has got uh, courses on how to start business and uh, this will be in fact uh, taught as uh, pre-recorded videos by international successful business people from United States, from United Kingdom, from Sweden and uh, we'll be having people also from uh, South Africa and even from Singapore okay, and many parts of Asia. So we'll be having a very successful business people uh, that will be teaching uh, pre-recorded videos uh, in how to start business to young people that are minorities uh, that will help okay, in uplifting the economy of uh, India. We also have a very significant program uh, in the farming. So this farming is a very unique way of farming. It's uh, farming that will bring healing okay, to the uh, to the ground, as we all know that even the ground is sick and uh, we are having a huge problem in regards to farming and producing okay, healthy food. So this farming project is uh, very significant, it's going to bring healing, it's going to bring uh, more production, natural production, uh, that will be good for health and also bring healing to human body. So it is going to be a very significant aspect of holistic program. So we invite, uh, you know, people from different, you know, aspect of life to please come and join this program. We invite the church leaders, the political leaders, and, uh, you know, from the social sectors, uh, wherever you are, okay, please come and join us uh, for this uh, holistic uh, peace and progress program. I believe it will be a great blessing to all of you. It is, uh, in fact, open for all. But uh, it is going to be somewhat of a closed door program. And we are giving out an invitation card which uh, they need to scan and they need to register. Okay, so whoever comes first, we give them, you know, uh, a seat that is reserved. So they need to work on that quickly. So by February 2nd, they have to do that. Uh, they need to scan only. You have a mobile <coughs> and you have to scan the code, the QR code is there. Okay, and then the form opens and they have to fill up the name and submit. Okay, so once we get that, you know, we send them another code for entry. So with that, you know, they can enter the venue for the program. Yes, we have a card and we are putting up on the WhatsApp. So a lot of people are getting that. Yeah, we only uh, wish to invite 500 people because of the venue. Uh, it is not a very big location that can accommodate people. So about 500. Now this is the card that we have, as you can see. I think it's visible, isn't it? So this is uh, the QR code for the venue. And this is the scan to register. So this is what they have to scan and register. And then the form opens. And you have to fill up okay, your name over there. So those interested uh, participants need to register on or before 2nd February. So the inaugural is Naitu Resort, that's where we'll have. And then the workshop we'll be having at Youth Oasis Center. The conference 
which we are going to focus is for North East India. All the seven states mainly they will be participating. And well, having said that, even the South and the mainland India, the participants are expected. So, for there are so many resources at the central level, our youth are not aware of or they don't know one way, the otherwise they are not uh, motivated. So that during the conference, our Minister Honorable John Barlaji will be coming and he being from Northeast West Bengal part, so he is the State Minister of Minority Affairs. So there are so many areas where we can uh, avail the opportunity of the central government. So he is coming, he will be highlighting all those things also. And also the community, whoever is here, maybe business community, maybe any other religious community, maybe other, other tribal community, they also they can meet him and share about their problems also. Because he will be here to hear us and how he can help us, this India, to make very, very progressive and developed. So, under this triangle formula of the NCC, like economic, uh, social, economical, and the spiritual part, as the Albert Einstein said that science without religion is land and the religion without science is blind like that something vice versa so the spiritual part we cannot neglect and moreover as a christian we are here to love everyone and do away all kind of uh, hatred among the different religious community different tribal community so that the National Christian Council is there to motivate the people uh, or to work together for the development of the spiritual field also. As a Christian, it is our duty to uh, promote the spiritual activities also so that in a healthy spiritual body there will be healthy spiritual mind and there will be healthy spiritual body and spirit.